Hey everyone, Phil Cohen here from Bache Optoelectronics. Today I'm here to tell you about our new ambient light sensor, VEML 6031X00. So before I talk about our ambient light sensor, let me tell our new listeners, as well as remind our returning listeners, that Fiche Optoelectronics has a large scope of products. This includes infrared receiver modules, optocouplers, solid state relays, and photo triac products, UV and visible LEDs, ERTA transceivers, discrete infrared emitter and photo detector products, and optical sensors in both analog and digital output, including reflective and transmissive formats, both long and short range proximity, which can also be used in gesture recognition, RGB sensors, and ambient light sensors, as I will talk about today. Okay, if you've made it to this slide, then I know you are eager to hear about the VEML 6031X00 ambient light sensor. This device has been released for general consumer applications, uh, medical and industrial market applications, but most importantly, for automotive application. So you'll see it used in a variety of ways in automotive, uh, including as the brightness control for the display and indicator lights. You'll see it used as an on-off uh, control for the tunnel ingress and egress, meaning I enter the tunnel, the car turns on the headlights, I exit the tunnel, the car turns off the headlights. It's also used as a contrast control function for the reduction of high beam glare in the rearview mirrors. So the nose to activate the tinting uh, when the high beams are blaring into the rearview mirror and blinding the driver, it tints it so they don't blind the driver. Uh, it's used for puddle lighting or ground illumination lighting surrounding the vehicle. So when I unlock the car with my key fob, if it's dark conditions, it'll light up the car and the surrounding ground. Uh, if I'm inside the car and I open the door, again, if it's night conditions, the ground illumination or puddle lighting will come on. Uh, if it's daylight conditions, those lights will remain off. In consumer and medical and industrial markets, I would see this device used again for brightness control on display and indicator lights. Uh, contrast control again for keyboard backlighting. It would be used for both contrast control as well as on-off switch in uh, interior and exterior lighting controls. Uh, and then we're seeing in emerging markets coming uh, out of the uh, appliances uh, where you would have uh, refrigerator freezers and washers and dryers uh, or perhaps smart thermostats where you have displays and you need to do contrast control for those displays, especially for those that want to hit the green energy saving sticker. Uh, same thing with interior illumination lighting in the, within the refrigerator. I open the door, the light's got to come on. When I close the door, the light would go off. Same with washer and dryer now, we're seeing more and more use of lights there and ambient light sensors uh, serving as, as that light gathering tool. This new ambient light sensor checks off a number of boxes when it comes to key attributes. It's AECQ 100 Automotive Qualified. We offer selectable integration times as fast as 3.1 milliseconds for quicker readouts and adaptive display adjustment. While we have full suppression of infrared influence on the main channel, we also have a separate channel for measuring IR content, allowing for more accurate lux measurements under various light sources. The wide operating temperature range from minus 40 to 110 degrees C is key for many automotive applications out there today. We offer two I squared C slave address options, which is great if you need more than one sensor within your application. The unique packaging eliminates straight light leakage in through the sidewalls of the package, which is critical to shutting out influence from LEDs that might be mounted around the PCB. Finally, we have a very high resolution with sensitivity of 0.0034 lux per step. The VEML 6031X00 offers accurate and consistent lux measurement across all light sources with a lux error of less than 7%. As mentioned in the prior slide, the main channel suppresses all IR content for a very pure human eye-like response, while the secondary channel does measure IR content and can tell us whether we're under sunlight or other light source conditions. With such high resolution and fast integration time, the sensor functions extremely well under low transmissive window materials. So even at 0.1% transmissivity, 
The VEML 6031X00 delivers a change of 294 counts per one lux step. I suspect you will love, that's a capital L-O-V-E, our FAM or foil assisted molding package. This package allows for a recessed chip to be surrounded by opaque walls, thus eliminating stray light from other light sources penetrating the side walls. This is particularly important if you have other light sources on the same PCB as the sensor. So potentially, the FAM package can eliminate the need for mechanical barriers or rubber boots in your design. Well, that does it for the VEML 6031X00. I hope you found it to be an intriguing product, and should you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any point in time. As always, we thank you very much for your interest in our products. This is Phil Cohen, signing off.